Hey, how's it going? And welcome along. I'm Roy from Rammer Time, and welcome to Satisfactory Version 1.0. This is episode 6 in my Let's Play playthrough. If you remember last time, if you even saw last time, you may not, we built this quick wire factory. And it's, it's pretty simple. It still needs a bit of work to just tidy it up, but it is working well and getting me stuff ready to be taken over to the main base. Which I'm calling a main base, but it's really, it's the starter base. And to be honest, I'm kind of getting a bit fed up with it. I want a proper home. I want to set up somewhere that is the actual place where all of my stuff is kept and we can go out from. This has been a lovely to start, but I think the time has come. However, before we can do that, we've got to get the next elevator parts sorted. And this means 1000 smart plating, 1000 versatile framework, and 100 automated wiring. Which, I've unlocked everything, it's all ready to be made, I've just got to set some stuff up to make it. So that is the goal of this episode. We are going to get those three items into that space elevator. Now we are already okay for smart plating, we've got plenty of that. In fact we've actually got quite a bit extra, so these extra bits I'm just going to chuck here into this bin which will send it up into my awesome sink there and hopefully get me some tickets. Now something I did want to do just quickly is just upgrade the belts inside here for because I don't want to have to wait for hours for the stuff to get up there. Because I want tickets and even the smart plates are taking a real long time to actually generate good numbers of tickets. There's only five. Six. So yeah, that is the plan. And I guess it's time to get started. Okay, I did a thing and it's pretty ugly, but it is working, alright? I set up some smart splitters firstly so that I'm now separating my steel pipes and steel plates into two different bins because it was just filling up straight away. Uh, and then I built this kind of horrible building over here which takes feeds from different places. <laughs> and what this gives us is one machine that is making us our automated wiring and one machine that is making our versatile frameworks. So. We've now got 150 of those, and we've now got 50 of those. So we only need another 50 of those, and obviously we need another 900 or so of those, but it's getting there. But this one here needs stators uh, to, to make. So I added an extra quick floor up the top here. And again, it's pretty horrible. I'm just taking a feed from my wire down there, and also I'm taking a feed out of that machine there. <laughs> so when the tractor brings the, uh, the tubes, they go off into here, and this machine basically makes stators. So that will just tick over and give me everything I need. Now one thing you might notice is now over there, we have the other tractor. He's very cautious. That is now bringing us our quick wire over here. And that's all working absolutely perfectly. We're getting a ton of quick wire being brought in. So that is all good and doing as it expects. Or as I expect, yes. My plan here is to now just basically hammer through these two remaining space elevator parts, get the next one going, and then we're going to go and find a place that is going to be the new home. I did actually promise something in the last episode that we need to go and do. And it might be a little bit of a clue with what I've got in my hand. But if you remember when we were stood by the quickwire factory in the last episode, I said... I've lost it now. Oh, there it is. What's that over there? So we need to blow it up and find out. What is this tractor doing? He's super slow, look. He's very cautious, this one. And then suddenly, go, 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 go. No, this is actually a little trick. If you've got like a tight area, if you drive it in really slowly, it makes much more waypoints. And it means that the tractor will drive in slowly and therefore it won't sort of tend to overrun and cause problems. So we've got that load over there, but there's also, I just spotted, there's a few here, and I wonder what all of this is about. We'll grab the slug. I don't know where that one landed, I didn't see it. I'm probably standing on it, aren't I? <laughs> that one went over. Okay, here we go. Ah, I told you, didn't I? <laughs> we got <laughs> a power sluggy why what I 
Oh. Really? How'd you like them booms? You didn't, did you? Ow. This is good though, because I need these things. So something you never used to be able to do in early access, or at least in the when I was playing, was to do with these smelly. Ow. I got too close. Don't I can't dismantle it. Was to do with these. And I vaguely remember they did make it so you can blow them up. Oh, that's amazing. Well, that didn't work. Okay, so over there, I have found a hard drive. There's a few things to fight, but there's the, some bees over there. I will figure out the bees thing, because I'm sure, I think you wait for it to... Yeah, no, it didn't, it didn't do anything. Now, I understand that you can actually sneak up on these. And I never realized this. What oh, is this Mercer Sphere up there as well? Need to get that while we're here. Nice. Yeah, they've seen me. Oh, their aim is so much better than it used to be. Take some of the circuit boards. 79. Oh, wow. That, that actually would be helpful. Needs 90 megawatts. Oh, for goodness sake. There we go. Yeah, I was hoping that I'd actually find some plastics here, but I didn't, sadly. So, that's, that's not to worry. Hello, doggo. What are you doing in there? Right, I've just seen a couple of spiders. I'm going to try my luck. <laughs> oh. Oh god. I got one. I took one down. Did it just Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, it's up there. Oh. Oh, God. Woo! <laughs> That's just horrible. Everything about it. Come here. Where are you? Oh. God, dear. But I got it. Oh. Well, after all of that, fighting lots of really big spiders... I managed to come away with quite a few remains, which I then converted into capsules, which I then converted into tickets, and I managed to get 11. I, it's really stingy with the tickets now. It used to be very giving. It's not anymore. So, walls. I did get the windows. I, I want. I still want the other windows, but I want these um, angles, and I wanted the... I mean, these are effectively act, act as roofs. So I want these. So I'll add them. I'll add them. That leaves us with two. After all that, that's all we got with it. So we've got, well, basically it's these then, isn't it? All right, we'll add them. All right, well, at least we can start building some slightly more interesting stuff uh, in terms of, there we go, look. Yeah, we've got, like, ramps. Good. We've got these. Good. And we should have nice windows. Oh, I, I haven't got silica. Silica. God, yeah, that's another thing I've got to do at some point. Let's just have a quick check. How are my space elevator parts coming along? Probably very slowly, I imagine. We've got all the smart plates already. We know that. So in here, we've got 100, 200, 300, 322 of the uh, versatile framework. So we've still got a little way to go on that. Uh, and we've got 100 here. Oh, I'll sink those 10. You never know, that might give me a... 
fraction of a ticket. But yeah, so okay. That's all good and dandy and wonderful. So yeah, it really is about waiting at the moment. So I might go and do a little bit of work on my quickwire factory just to try and finish that off a little bit. But there was one more there was one more thing that I really wanted, which was um, these, the structural beams. I need four tickets, and I want those. Oh, for goodness sake, I need 14 more tickets. And it's just taken me a lot of effort to get that. Yeah, and I got one ticket for those advanced wiring, so that's not going to be quite enough. Not to worry, not to worry, it will come. As, we, as I've always said, this playthrough, it's not a rushed playthrough, we're not in a hurry. I think my only thing is that I'm getting a bit tired of the mess in here, and I really want to build a proper base with a proper walkway. Something I absolutely love doing is creating buildings that you can walk around you haven't got to jump over anything and uh, yeah we kind of didn't successfully manage that here I mean it looks amazing it's look I, I love this view I mean even just from last time this view's now suddenly got so much more busy it's got its own charm for sure but yeah I really want to start building some interesting looking buildings righty then people it is time we're gonna do the next bit of the space elevator I have the parts. Now because, to be honest, I don't want to run belts all the way over to the space elevator from here because obviously that would just be disgusting and horrible. I've just emptied all my stuff into there and we'll grab what we need and that is everything we need. So let's run up there through my maze. Oh, I cannot wait to get into a proper base and start building it properly. Okay, here we go. Put you in. Put you in. Oh, I missed 10. Uh, I missed a hundred every single time whether I'm making something unlocking something every time. I'm such a no no Here we go for real this time. Here we go load seal the deal Love this animation Welcome to the project assembly pioneer progress presentation Congratulations, the Phase 2 project part shipment is now ready for delivery. On delivery, Phase 2 will be completed and the construction dock will be constructed. After completion of Phase 2, the technologies of Tiers 5 and 6 will become available in the hub. These might feel intimidating after your previous experience, but rest assured that you would not be here if you were entirely incompetent. Highlights are oil production, railway transportation, the jetpack, and many more. Completing phase three of project assembly is your next main objective. Just remember to focus on producing and delivering the project parts, and fix its faith in you will be strengthened. Ho oh, ho ho! It's exciting! Phase 2 of project assembly completed. You have been performing more adequately under pressure and are closer than ever to saving the day. Perhaps you were the right choice for the job. Time will tell. You will now enter phase 3 of project assembly. Continue as you are and there should be no issue. For humanity. For fix it. That is so cool. I don't know what it means by construction platform. I I don't know what where we're going with this yet. It's so exciting. I love it. And there we go, it's back again. Wow. So we've got some exciting stuff ahead of us then. Tier five. The jetpack. Oh, I can't wait to get that unlocked. Actually, I might even be able to do that now. Um, I'm pretty sure I might have that. Mind you, I can make them anyway. So yeah, no, we can get the jetpack up and running really quickly. This is obviously a big project, getting oil underway. Finding a good place to do that is always a, a fun challenge. But that will get us our plastic, which means that we can get the uh, the gun as well. Mark IV can very well. Suddenly, some start, suddenly things will start moving super quickly. That's really exciting. Fluid packaging, obviously we need that for the jetpack, really, I think, because... I think it runs on any fuel, but you really you want the package fuel for that. And then petroleum power. Oh yes, yes. So that's really exciting. And then in tier six, we've got the manufacturer, the computers, the modular. Yep, yeah, loads of stuff. Plus the the next space elevator parts. Then the trains, which honestly, 
I have so much fun with trains. I love trains in this game. It's brilliant. Signals. Mark II pipes. Blueprint designer Mark II. <laughs> Let's keep it simple. Let's start with this jetpack. You can have your thousand wire, your thousand plates, and your thousand motors. And in return, Milestone reached. give me a jetpack. Fixit has granted you the power of flight, provided you have a jetpack and the appropriate fuels. The jetpack refuels automatically while you are standing on a surface, and different fuel types will affect the jetpack's functionality. With this increased versatility, you will no doubt achieve efficiency levels previously unheard of. I just need five uh, motors, which is pretty easy enough to make, and then we can make our jetpack. Oh, how exciting. Right, and I need to grab myself. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, that's how it's supposed to be. Right, and we'll just grab some more of these for the time being. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, there we go. Yes, excellent. World of difference, that. What is our next major challenge? That's what we've got to think. Um, it's, it's now, it's going to be to go and find where we're going to start our new base, really. Or, it's all processing. It might actually have to be all processing. We can unlock that quite easily as well. Yeah. Yep, it's going to have to be... Right, right, that's going to be the next step, is we're going to unlock oil processing. So let's go ahead and unlock oil processing now. And baboosh. There we go. Milestone reached. Crude oil can now be extracted and refined so. to produce various industrially beneficial parts. The byproducts of these processes will require careful management, but a capable pioneer such as yourself surely understands that. To improve efficiency, pipelines can now be optimized with valves to limit and balance their throughput. These were initially nice. left out because Fixit did not want to overwhelm pioneers with complex pipeline management, but they have since been re-added after my impassioned defense of your capabilities. Oh, it looks really cool up there now. We've got so much now we can do. Like, this has completely opened up the game. Oh, it's great fun. Right, okay. We're a little way away from Mark IV belts, I think, because I don't think I've got anywhere near enough rubber that I've found. But rubber, 65. How much did I need? 200. Yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't, uh, I can't do that yet. But that's fine. Uh, we're not in a major hurry for the Mark IV belts, so I'm not too worried. It is all good, because... Next, we've got a challenge. We need to go and find an oil field. And I have a sneaky... Oh, my tractors are stuck again. I have a sneaky suspicion it's over here somewhere where is a good oil place. Can I actually search for oil yet? I can. So let's set that. Where are you? Yeah. That was... That's... Oh, no. So I've got two places. Now, to be fair, with my existing... I wonder if over here is the place to do it. See, this way is the big desert, and that's where I've built a big base before. Because there's a ton of space, there's a ton of nodes, it's a really good place to build a base. But it's kind of boring. That's the only problem, is because it's a desert. Whereas over here, we could probably make something that looks really interesting. It just means there's a lot of navigating to get around. With the new SAM cloud upload parts thing, though, that might not be so bad. So I might go and look over here as a place to start the ore refinery, and possibly a place maybe around this area to start my main base. But I need to go over and have a look. Right, well, I've come out to this area over here. So as I said, the uh, there's a few oil nodes just here. And I don't know, there's something a bit green about here. I don't really want to make it into the, the main base. So I'm thinking I might keep looking. This would probably make a good sort of dedicated oil factory could be interesting but as a, a place for my permanent residence no I don't think so so we could check out over here this is near the desert which is gonna have lots of stuff so this one might be a better option for now let's go ahead and delete this marker and we're gonna place a new one let's stick a marker there We'll make it highlighted, and that's where we're going to head next. This is where this one is, and to be honest, I'm not feeling it either. It's really dry. <laughs> it's just too dry. If we look over here, that is the, the big old desert, and you know that's where there's a ton of resources. 
And I'm thinking that in this one I might make just like a giant super demo, almost like an Amazon warehouse where I'll bring loads of stuff back to and then there'll be a big old train station where trains can come in and collect stuff and take it off. But I don't think I want this to be my my home area because it's just too barren. No. So I'm now going to come and have a look up this area up here and see if I can find a spot up here because... I'm pretty sure this is quite pretty up here. Yeah, there it is. Let's just add a marker there. Let's keep looking. See, I come out here and it's already looking prettier. Like this would be a much more interesting place to build a base. Well, they're very awkward to navigate. But yeah, I like it. I don't know what all the noises are though. Grab this guy while we're here though. Okay, so yeah, here I am. Let me just check something though. What have we got over here in terms of iron? See, that's my only problem with over here. There's not a lot of iron. Oh, this is a very difficult decision. I, <laughs> do you know, this is horrible. A few moments later. Okay, after a lot of thinking, I now have an idea of what I'm gonna do. And it is out there. This is the grass fields. This is the simple starting point for many people. I'm just gonna build it there because I think it's a nice looking area. There's some interesting stuff around it. We can incorporate lots of stuff. I've kind of got this idea to make a train line that runs all the way around and with a couple of bits in the middle so that we can kind of really take advantage of everything on the map. And I just think it would be more fun building it here. There won't be any aggro from any real bad aggressors. It's pretty safe over there. And there's plenty of space. So we're going to concrete pretty much all of that. <laughs> But yes, we're going to start that in the next episode. So that is it for this one. I hope you have enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoy. You join me in the next video. So if you liked it, please remember, hit the like button. Also press subscribe if you're not. And press the little bell. We'll tell you when I put up a new video. So thank you very much for joining me once again. And bye for now.